So guess what? For a third time, I forgot what I was going to say. Like this is, or a second time. Um, so this is the third attempt to try to make my point uh, because I'm blaming this, this infernal bastard because it um, addled my brain and I forgot what I was, the original point about the crystal ladies and I got completely woozered and went off on a tangent both times, which is kind of hilarious, ironically or serendipitously or whatever. Anyway, um, I actually, the whole point of this video, which is now becoming a series, <coughs> was the kind of rally call to all, all the crystal ladies, all the crystal ladies, all the crystal ladies, all the crystal ladies, because, um, I just, I have a question for all of you who are into crystals and also, um, into essential oils, all the things that they accuse Marianne Williamson of being into, which she's not, but, um, but then they use it as a, a way to insult her. And then they're kind of insulting you too. Like, does it not piss you off? I mean, you know, if you're in a free country, you should be able to collect stamps and still run for president or, you know, practice alternative healing. I mean, like, I don't really understand the, the narrative, uh, not that word again. I don't really understand the people who think that it's um, dangerous to believe in stuff. Like if you don't believe in it, don't believe in it and do science, take your medicine. Like it's, it, I don't understand why, why one thing has to be the, the way that all of society goes with. In a free society, you should have many options. That's kind of like what I would advocate for. Anyway, um, yes, all the crystal ladies, like, so, you know, I don't know if like uh, Lena Franklin or Alicia Doss are into crystals per se, but I definitely would say that, you know, as women who've interviewed Marianne Williamson and, and um, seem to be uh, practicing alternative healing, I would be irked. I would be irked and I kind of, um, you know, if we're talking coalition, I, I sort of feel like there needs to be a coalition. Why am I the one talking about this as a gay man? Like, um, there needs to be a coalition of ladies who stand up for each other. And I have seen some amazing ladies. I mean, you know, like, um, I, maybe I shouldn't mention names, but, there, you know, if you're on Twitter or Facebook and you're looking at the, the ladies and, and, and men, who are um, vociferously defending and um, talking about and, and stumping for Marion Williams that there are some amazing people out there. Um, and I also think like, um, let, if I'm completely honest, like if someone really prominent came forward like Gwyneth Paltrow or Oprah Winfrey and endorsed Marion Williams, then I would probably go back to bed because I would be like, okay, they've got it, they're handling it, <laughs> which is exactly the thing that Marion Williamson hates that happens is that we um, get complacent about government and then just let them handle it. And then they handle it right into the ditch, uh, which is sort of where we are. So anyway, but yeah, I, I mean, look, honestly, guys, like it might feel very comforting to have a Bernie endorsement or um, Elizabeth Warren. I don't know. I don't know who your, who your heroes are, but um I do think, first of all, America is a very competitive culture. So um, they tend to think, well, why don't I run? You know, which is why you have so many candidates in the field. You know, I could do it better. Um, it's very American. But uh, <clears throat> whereas, you know, perhaps uh, one could say that uh, Canadians are a little bit more, oh, how can I help you? Um, which is one of the, that's actually one of the, um, lines kind of uh that marion williamson came out with was like um what amazing thing are you up to and how can i help you rather than are you okay because uh the sort of new age culture has been a lot of um are you okay like it's uh sort of plays into um weakness a bit more 
you know, once again, not victim shaming, but um, definitely there, there, there's a bit of indulgence, uh, uh, listing over into indulgence with, with um, the way we use the word trauma very casually and stuff like that. And, um, okay. Have I done it? Did I get it out? You got to watch these things. Don't do... <laughs> Don't talk politics. And especially, like, thank God that... Thank, thank the goddess that I don't have to talk about stats or budgets or, you know, tax numbers or anything like that. Um, this thing sitting here, because it's it, this is like an opioid, um, if you believe in the folklore about crystals. <clears throat> all right, I'm really done. I'm going to spare you all. This is this is th this series has been my wooest yet. No, it hasn't actually. If you go back, you'll see many wooer, wooer, wooer things. Um, I think it's very funny. I'll just talk a woo because it was my nickname as a kid. Okay, bye. <laughs>